Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Jay Noy. And I have my guest, Peter. He's hanging out today because we have a really good story for Easter. We're going to read The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wig and illustrated by Kathy Curry. The Night Before Easter. "'Twas the night before Easter, and just before dawn, "'not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. "'Our baskets were set on the table with care "'and hopes that the Easter bunny soon would be there. "'Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds "'while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. "'Then out in the barn the hens made such a clatter I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except Easter Bunny. He sniffed at the pansy, a tulip a rose, jumped over a shovel a rake and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprung in with a bound. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled. His whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton. His nose like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure. Filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolate and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all, and to all a great day. The end. So this is a good one to listen to if you celebrate Easter, and I encourage you to go on an egg hunt as well. If you wanna turn the switch a little bit, kids, Hide the eggs for your parents and have them find the Easter eggs. That'll be something kind of different and fun to do. So have a good holiday. Thanks. Bye-bye.